human beings. You know, not, not a lot of people realize this, but when I'm saying hi to you guys, I'm not saying human beings. I'm saying human beings, like beans. If you didn't catch that, I'm calling everyone a bean. Great. So for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, you know it is now summer. And you know this because it's hot. But with the lovely, lovely, sort of lovely, it's very hot, warm weather, we have lots and lots and lots of mosquitoes. Not so great. And we have lots of mosquitoes. Like, our friends don't want to visit us in the summer because we have so many mosquitoes. If that doesn't say something, you know. Yeah, no, we have a lot of mosquitoes. Um, and it's not very fun. <laughs> so this year, this year, I want my room to have way less mosquitoes than they did before. So, these are the things I'm going to be doing to keep my room relatively mosquito free. Relatively mine, because it is impossible to keep my room actually mosquito free, because that's just really unrealistic and it's not going to happen. But, relatively mosquito free. It is summer and I really want to keep my window open for, well, it's hot. That's just all the explanation you need, it is hot. So, but obviously that's a big no-no because if I did that, I would have a room infested with mozzies. That's not very fun, yeah. So, I'm making a mosquito screen that can go over my window so that I get all the benefits of an open window, such as cool air, without the um, disadvantages of being sucked dry by mosquitoes. So me and my brother started by planing and chopping the wood. Then I spent forever sanding down those pieces of wood so they were nice and smooth. Then we started gluing and screwing the pieces of wood together. Then we, it's actually quite funny how I'm saying we, because <laughs> it was mainly Galen, I didn't do very much. And you know why I didn't do much? It was not because I wasn't willing to do much. Well, I wasn't willing at the end because I was tired. But in the beginning, it was because he didn't trust me to uh, not mess it up. Thanks for the confidence, Galen. So we cut out little sections of the wood so that they would fit so it would fit nicely over my burglar bars. It's really not very pleasant having sawdust flicked in your face. And as you can tell by my facial expression, yeah no, it wasn't very pleasant at all. We got it to fit quite nicely. Then it was my job of cleaning all the sawdust because us as incredibly bright human beings did this inside. So I spent ages trying to get all the sawdust from everywhere, literally everywhere, it went everywhere. So that the screen actually fits in my window, we used magnets so that it obviously sticks to my window. Oh, 
I don't understand why I was so tired after doing this, but I was so tired. Because I didn't even do anything. Galen did all the work, but I was exhausted. Like, I couldn't function. I was so tired. But then I made a cup of tea, which admittedly didn't do much about my tiredness. You know, you, you, it's, quite, it's actually quite sad. You do hope that a good cup of tea would fix everything. But sometimes it doesn't. Oh, it's quite depressing, really. natural mosquito spray to um, get rid of the mosquitoes that do come into my room through the door through other windows that do not have screens. The final touch I did was picking some lavender because mozzies don't like lavender so I hope it might help a little bit maybe I don't know So those are the precautions that I did against mosquitoes in my room this year. But I mean, if all else fails, there's a good old mozzie net, which I'll probably have to use it. But you know, mosquito nets and cats do not go well together. They try to climb on the mozzie net. It's just really not that fun. So hopefully I don't have to use it this year. But that's very far-fetched. I bet you I'm gonna have to use it. So, yeah. So for all of you in the Southern Hemisphere, I hope you have a wonderful summer and try not to get eaten alive by mosquitoes. <laughs> Bye.